Larry Magid, CBS News and CNET. Web security company Goatsy Security said that it discovered a major security flaw that may have compromised information of about 114,000 users of the iPad 3G. Gawker has reported that this information belonged to dozens of CEOs, military officials, and top politicians, as well as what it calls A-listers in finance, politics, and media. In an interview with CBS News, Goatsy Security's Jim Jeffers said that they were able to get the information because of a security breach in an AT&T website that exposed personal identifiers from the customers. There's this identifier. It's called an ICC ID, and it's present on every SIM card of every cellular phone. And it was used as an authentication token. Basically, that means that it would be sent to AT&T's website, and that was how AT&T recognized you as who you were, and it would spit out your personal information in the form of your email address. So it's, uh, one of the members of our organization figured out, well, why not just step through these and with, with the help of some additional data that was recovered, they were able to successfully predict uh, the, the, these identifiers from the iPad 3G and retrieve a very large chunk of personal information. ICCID stands for Integrated Circuit Card ID. And with this information, an attacker could do more than simply know who the user is. Jeffers says that they could actually take control of the iPad. It will allow someone who do, does the proper research to possibly target I, iPad 3G users and take over their iPads and they could sniff traffic, they could act as the user of the iPad, that sort of thing. They could find out what's going on on the iPad and do things on it. And Jeffers says that in theory, any iPad user could be targeted. But in practice, they got information from some pretty influential users. Well, this is, you know, every, potentially every iPad 3G subscriber. It's a lot of people that were exposed to this, this hole, and somebody else could have harvested, harvested this similar data set. So I think that it, there's, a, there's a reasonable number, especially given this data set. Usually when you bar, bulk harvest data, you don't get anybody of influence, but this was a very affluent set of people, you know, CEOs and military people and government people. So it was the, the contrast of, of what normal data looks like and what this data looks like, this is very lucrative data. It's a very lucrative database that, that would be quite desirable. And how was this found? It was actually almost discovered by accident. One of our employees, he has an iPad himself. He's an iPad 3G subscriber, and he noticed it in the process of the normal user experience of this device. So it was something that, that he just noticed as he was using it that was pretty much identifiable by anyone that has sort of a mind for security. Goatsy, says Jeffers, doesn't always disclose information that it finds in its security research. We chose not to uh, disclose every vulnerability that we've come across because if we can continue making money off of it and, and selling it, then it's more important to us and more valuable to us than, uh, than to disclose it. But in this case... It, it either isn't monetizable or, um, or it's only monetizable illegally, you know? So, for example, this data, we d chose to disclose it to the public not only because it's the right thing to do, but because that there's no commercial applications of this that, are, that would be available to a law-abiding citizen. Before going public with the exploit, they did contact AT&T to let them close the hole. Absolutely. Once we verified that there was a vulnerability in AT&T servers, we waited until AT&T responded to this and closed the hole before we went public with the information. And when asked if he was aware whether AT&T said, thank you very much, no, sir. Not to my knowledge. I don't have a copy of that correspondence. I wasn't, I wasn't part of the disclosure process. And for its part, AT&T did acknowledge the potential intrusion, saying AT&T was informed by a business customer on Monday of the potential exposure of their iPad ICC IDS. The company said that the only information that can be derived from this is the email address that's attached to the device. They said that the issue was escalated to the highest level of the company and was corrected by Tuesday. Larry Magid, CBS News and CNET.